Hi, Jerusalem Saints YouTube channel, my prayer warriors. This video is definitely for my prayer warriors on this YouTube channel. If you are a prayer warrior, if you, especially if you are, you know, you love praying for other people, this video is going, going to be for you. In this video, quickly, I'm just, I don't have a lot of time. I actually have something to I have a Bible study to go to after this, but that's awesome that you're on here. And I'm so thankful that you're on this channel right now. You're on my YouTube channel watching this video. Please continue to watch. I'm going to give you an amazing idea, an amazing faith piece that you can carry with you um, in your prayer time or in your time to evangelize. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to just give you something that came to my, to my mind after watching a sister in Christ, her YouTube channel, she is has more experience than, than I do, but I got this idea from her and other and like other, I don't know, just throughout other things. But basically, lately, what I've been doing. Oh, also, her name is Heather Baxter. Check out her ministry. I'm sharing that with you guys boldly. She is on fire. Like she is a leader in the church. She is the Esther that we the Esther like the Esther you know vibe that we need and yeah and so like a few maybe like a couple only a couple months ago maybe like a few weeks ago even I was guided one morning instead of just jumping right into prayer and just saying I'm jumping into prayer and saying okay thank you Jesus like thank you for this thank you for that thank you for, like just like saying a bunch of words and going through all the swirl of emotions I have instead of doing that the Lord Jesus like would guide me to write out my prayers, like instead of just jumping into prayer, to write out my prayers. So I, today, I, I made some time. All these green post-it notes are all what I've been writing out in prayer. And I don't write out my prayers every single, every single day. But you know, like just there's some days where instead of just jumping into prayer or just jumping in to say whatever it is, like swirling, emotions that I have that like can be kind of dangerous sometimes I just wrote I just wrote all these prayers these green green post-it notes in total I have 17 prayers that I wrote down and some of these prayers that I wrote down I just felt so much better writing them down and they just sound better like they just they just flow better they just, they just make more sense so today the Lord was like you should share them with someone. And I was like, what? It's such a good idea. Like, thank you for thank you for saying that. I will share it with someone. So check out what it is I'm doing now. So the reason why I was it was put on my mind to share it with other people was because for Christmas, my mom got me these a box of verse. I think it was from Marshall's. But here's the box, a box of verse, and it's different verses. They're meant to they're meant to be shared, you know. So we have one for faith, we have some for faith, for hope, for comfort, <coughs> excuse me, and for love. So if I pull one out for hope. Psalm 119, verse 114. You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. So it's so cool. My mom got me these. And I I personally meditate on these every day, actually. Um, I have some up over there. I'm not going to show you, but pointing that way towards my room, I have some over there. And yeah, these are so, such a blessing. I'm like, thank you, Jesus, for these. And then these I also got from my friend for my birthday. And these are so cool. So I'm going to open them, and I'm going to grab one. I'm actually going to show you. One I already did. So I wrote down a prayer. That was, that was, oh my gosh, Psalm 19. Oh, I thought that was Psalm 119. Oh my gosh, isn't it so funny? The, the, the car we just grabbed was Psalm 119, verse 114. So that's Psalm 19. I love that one. And I just wrote out a prayer. These are the small ones to give. But for the prayers that I wrote down in my notebook, I have my markers. These are, you can use like any markers really. This is how they look. They're so cool, colorful. 
I hope you, I hope, I hope God blesses you with markers because marker pens. I hope God blesses you with marker pens. Thank you, Jesus, because these marker pens, like they're so awesome. They're fine line. I hope you get some marker pens. You find some good ones. And yeah. And so here is the final piece of a prayer that I want to pass, that I want to give to people. Yay. I put a bow around it. Cool, right? Yay. So yeah. So if you have any, if you have, if you have a chance, you can make your own of those even. Just buy some. My mom got them from Marshalls on Am or on Amazon. You get, you get these at. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, I hope that that was something that you can put into your faith toolbox. If, if you need, if you need more help, bold, boldness, courage. As a believer, if you are if you are my sister, or brother in Christ, you know how it can get very challenging or you know, just like unmotivating to like preach the gospel, to preach to other people. I know what that feels like, like oh like I don't feel motivated. I don't have any words to say to like the people about the word of God. But that is that lie is completely destroyed when you realize how much hope there is in the word of God. And that's why I made these little prayer cards to give to people. So I actually prayed, I would pray these prayers. I wrote them down when I, when I would wake up in the morning, I'd write them down and then pray them. Same for here. This one is for, this one, this, these are, these are for women. So you can find, I'm pretty sure you can find men prayer cards. They do have some. So if men want to also do this, this is a really cool thing for, you know, fellow brothers in Christ to do too. This is for women. The prayer specifically, it talks about like, you know, healthy women friendships and fun things like that. And yeah, I think this is awesome because, you know, you can just be yourself. You can be yourself. You can have hope for that other person. And you can also just show the kindness that God has put into your life by redeeming you. So he redeemed us and now it's our cho it's our it's our purpose, our duty to like be to be kind to others and share that kindness and love with other people. That's that. So thank you so much. I got to go to a cool Bible study that I got invited to. Such a blessing. I feel like so overwhelmed with God's grace sometimes, but I got to be humble. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. And yeah, have fun, get creative with the word of God, have fun, be yourself, be creative, even if you are a brother in Christ, my brother in Christ, have fun, get creative and he will guide you and he will make a way for you. He wants to make a way for you. Yeah. So in this fallen world, he wants to make a way for you. Jesus wants to make a way for you. So God bless. Peace out and thank you for watching.